Hey there, welcome behind the scenes to my recording studio. And what you're about to see is a segment called Ask John. Now this segment is typically only available to Power Hitters Club members. I'm giving you a little sneak peek. So for more information on the Power Hitters Club, just make sure you go to johnloomer.com slash phc. Welcome to Ask John, where I answer various questions from members of the Power Hitters Club in the form of a video. So today's question comes from Alan Martin. Here's what Alan has to say. So I would find it invaluable to hear more about your story, how you went from leaving the corporate world to becoming a Facebook ads guru in less than three years. My business has been going for about four years and I'm breaking even. But I need to take my business to the next level. It's quite frustrating that after this amount of time, I'm not further ahead. So it'd be great to benefit from your experience to get some inspiration for my business. Regards, Alan. Great question, Alan. I mean, it's a really good way to kick this off. So first of all, hate the word guru or anything like it. It's just all about building your brand, building your authority in whatever niche you're in. So let me try to tell you my story as little amount of time as possible. So you talk about my leaving the corporate world. Well, I was really forced out. So yeah, you said about three years. About three years ago, I was laid off for the second time in three years. So when that happened, I needed to provide for my family, uh, which include my wife who didn't have an income, my three boys who were very active. And uh, again, this is the second time in three years, so lacked a lot of confidence. I knew I wanted to create a business, but no clue whatsoever how to do that. So the first thing I did was just create a website and just started writing. Now keep in mind, um, you know, my history and why I want to do what I, what I wanted to do. My son, our oldest son, is a cancer survivor, first of all. And that, so that really changes our perspective in terms of what's important. So I really didn't want to go fighting through traffic anymore. I didn't want to, you know, work downtown and spend countless hours out of the day, out of the year. I could have spent with my boys and along those same lines big baseball kids i'm a big baseball dad i love coaching them i love seeing them play i don't want to miss out on any of that stuff so when i was laid off um, i didn't immediately know i wanted to start a business but i did know i did not want to move did not want to start working downtown and i wanted control over my hours i wanted that flexibility so what I did is I created this site, I just started writing, and I wrote about what I knew about. Now keep in mind, no clue whatsoever what I was doing. Um, but I was comfortable talking about Facebook. So you talk about you know building authority, building a brand in Facebook. Well, it's just that that's where my comfort level was because one of my jobs that I was not laid off from was with the NBA. And back in 2007, we partnered with Facebook to build an app. That's so long ago, that was before you could create your own app. And uh, I think I was the first ever admin of the MBA group before there were pages. So needless to say, I was very comfortable with the platform. So uh, when I started my website, I didn't really see myself as a business at all. So I didn't even start a Facebook page yet. Back then, it seemed kind of weird, to me at least, to create a Facebook page for myself. Not when it wasn't really a brand or a business yet. Um, so I was like, that's only for celebrities, right? So... Um, I didn't even do that for the first three months. Uh, it wasn't until I think it was November, early November, that I started my Facebook page. And uh, it was really hard. Look, I was talking to myself, but it was a tool I was comfortable using. And again, there was that level of desperation. So I had to make it work. And I had, no, I had all the time in the world to do it. I was not distracted by anything else. That's all I did. So I read, I researched, I experimented, I failed like crazy tried new things and i'd say somewhere around six six month point i started to find a niche where i started writing more about facebook marketing but really wasn't until about a year and a half in that i found my true niche and i think that is my first tip for you is finding your true niche it shouldn't just be about facebook marketing it shouldn't just be about marketing if you can control that um, you want it to be something where you are that guy for that topic when I was just a Facebook Facebook marketing guy, 
I didn't get much recognition. No one really knew who I was. When I wrote exclusively by Facebook ads, but also advanced Facebook ads, that's when my brand took off. So my, my recommendation to you is really, first of all, write like crazy. And I know, you know, sometimes there's just not enough time in the day to do it, but doing that builds your authority and builds trust within an audience that you know what you're talking about. And they'll also find you on Google if you create enough of this content around a single topic. Uh, so that's the first thing. Second, try stuff. Fail like crazy. If you feel like you're at a status quo, you plateaued, you're not growing, try new things. Do more stuff. And honestly, for me, my business didn't really explode until two things. First of all, I started investing. It's three things. I started investing, spending more money. So the Facebook ad stuff, I was spending like a dollar a day early on um, in Facebook ads. That's from the Facebook ads guy. But again, limited budget. But I just want to spend something. So continue to spend something. Up that budget though, I mean, I wish I would spend more in the early going, even though I was scared to spend more. I wish I would have spent more once you're comfortable um, to help build my brand. So first of all, yes, definitely invest to create online products. And assuming that's within your niche and that's you know something that's one of your goals, because this is something that scales. So you don't have to worry about clients and all the time that individual clients take from you. Create uh, uh, digital products that reach many, 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 many people. Okay. And I guess the third thing would be to hire somebody. I know it's hard, but you have limited time in the day. You can't build, you can't create without some help. So I hope that helps you. And bottom line, my man, do not give up. Keep trying, keep experimenting, keep failing. You'll get there. Because what you see from my business took three years of all kinds of failing and mistakes and missteps. So good luck.